Hello boys and girls, it is Soren here, and welcome back to Juice X Mankind Divided. In the last episode we finally got off the train, which um, ended up with us being attacked by a mysterious attacker, which left our augmentations in a critical condition where we have lost the majority of our abilities. And as you can see, everything at the minute keeps flickering on and off, so we have to go and get our body checked out and see what's been going on. That being said, let's exit the building here. Open blinds. Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. From? David Saris. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but after what happened in Prague yesterday... Look, son, whatever reasons you had for not getting in touch in the last two years, well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but uh, give me a call. You saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Okay, I don't care anymore. I was only turning on the CV because he told me um, to turn it on because I um and that David guy's numbers on there. See if we got any mail before heading out. Hey Jensen, sorry to not get back to you before this, but I'm um, being buried in the sea of paperwork, and frankly, I'm surprised you're asking. Only met Miller once via the NSN. See more than than compen compen com I don't know. He was with the technical assault group in Australia before the incident. Hell of a marksman to say, so say they, so they say. Don't know how the, he ended up overseeing the Central European office, but then I don't understand how you ended up there either. After Detroit, I figured you SWAT ex your SWAT experience and my recommendation would get you in the door. But for headquarters would keep you in the states. Sure, you could use your inside insider's knowledge to org developers to get a handle on the black market suppliers. We've been chasing down. Hate to say it, but they've given us hell. Ah well, adapt and react, right? Anyway, I'm not sure I can I can tell you much about Miller. If you if you yeah if you do put up put up for a transfer, let me know first. Maybe I can pull some strings. Adam, thank you for your detailed ex um spec specifications for the trench coat. As discussed, it will be completed within ten business days and shipped express. Sincerely, Everson. Director Miller said you will probably come in after a good night's sleep. Despite what just happened to you, I have no idea why you would do that. It, if it was me, 2F29 is the last place I would want to go right now. Don't let the bunker atmosphere fool you. This place is the target. We are all targets. I'm not just being paranoid here, okay? You'll understand when, you, when, we, talk to the, when we talk in person. P.S. Later to the above thing we need to talk about, I changed your office password. It's now the name of the band of the shirt area. Wore the wore that time I saw her, the one I told you about. I swear I'm not I'm not trying to be cute or cri cryptic. I'm trying to be safe. Chang, P P P S S. Try running through your home smart system interfer interface again and let me know if you're still getting that armory glitch. Latest firmware should have taken care of it. Last thing, I'd want to do is you, is in your shoes is leave your apartment without without bullets. Oof. A lot of talking. Alright, so this house has, is kind of the same from the last game, but at the same time it's quite different. So I ain't got a clue where um, his hideout thing is that the guy just said to check out. Unless it's here. Which is not. What's this on the table? Got some credits. I was thinking about going back to um, the last mission and trying to save that guy again, but I thought no, I'm just going to keep um, the decisions I made and that whether it's good, or bad or wrong or in just totally um, accidental, that's the decision that I've made so I'm going to stick with them and I probably might make another playthrough again where I do everything correct, I never know, depending on how this game goes first. Um, press the middle button to open inventory. 
Use L, use L, select an item and view the available options. Okay, pretty basic. I don't see anything in here that I can use currently. So that being said, they might just head out. Well, other than credits, and got some wine. See, he's still talking. Now I'm just gonna head out then, guys. Now I find I've got a change code back. Miller, it's Jensen. It's good to finally hear from you, Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my Augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. Hello. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. Yes. Dr. Kohler, I need to pay you a visit. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So, unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack... The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. Maybe for another match. How the hell do I get out of here? <laughs> Alright, let's just head out then. The map menu marks important locations, including the merchants, sewer accesses, and metro stations. Press the middle button to access in game menu. Use R1 and L1 to reach the main uh, menu top. No, I got no side quests at the minute, mainly just got um the main quest. Oh, my controller just died. I don't see how when it's connected to the actual charger. I'm gonna see this guy. Oh, just gonna click it. I'm gonna see this guy first and see what he has to do for us. Street is off limits, Oyobok. Private function. All businesses are temporarily closed. I cannot wait for this district to be turned into condos. Looking forward to the end. Don't forget about your permit on. Interesting look. Oh shit, that was totally by accident. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that area for now, as he said. Oh crap! Um, all of that was generally by accident, guys. I keep kept getting all the buttons mixed mixed around.
Two more guys to go, and then we should be able to see that um, doctor guy we've been trying to get to this whole time. We check. We're done, okay? What are we looking for? Come on, this is As you can see, guys, I've gave up with this stealth mission now. Just going all out, and it's just proven to be a lot easier. I might just stick to this in future references. Jensen! Thank God! I'm down in the dungeon, man! You remember the title of my super secret book, right? I remember it's red. Jensen, my favorite techno wonder kind. Sorry about the goons, man. They, uh, they didn't give you too much trouble, did they? They're not gonna be a problem anymore. What did they want? You behind on your protection money? I, I don't think it's about money. I got this little misunderstanding with their boss, Otar. You know how it is with these gangster types. Enough to know that there's no such thing as a little misunderstanding. The Valley internal politics. I... I'm gonna get it sorted. Gonna see the big boss myself. As soon as things settle down. The day after a bombing, man, it's... Well, I mean, it's scary, right? I'm surprised people go out at all. Sometimes people don't have a choice. My systems took a hit. I was hoping you could help me get everything running again. Took a hit? You mean... Oh, shit! Why didn't you say so? We need to get you in the chair. The chair. You know I've always wanted to get a closer look at those sari fogs of yours. A real close look. So, uh... So let's strap you in, get the gas going, and then... Well, then I just need to sort of dive in. Uh, feel my way around. Hang on a sec, you're gonna put me under for how long? What if the Diwali send reinforcements? Oh, you're just stalling. Those illiterates aren't going to get in here. Don't be scared of the chair, okay? The chair is gentle. I promise. This thing with the Diwali is nothing. Otar's pissing where he shouldn't. I count on you to fix me, Kohler. To some extent, your problems are my problems. That's sweet, Jensen. Altar Botkoveli is the Diwali number two guy. The men outside, they were his men. But the big boss man is Radic Nikoladze. He is the number one guy. And I know Radic, so... So don't worry about it. Now, are we gonna do this procedure? What exactly are you going to do to me? I'm not sure yet. First, I gotta get in there to see what's wrong. But don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to you I wouldn't do to myself. I promise. Besides, you've been here a few times. You know I'm professional. You've never had to put me under before. I never saw you the day after an explosion before either. That was a big shock to your system, man. Kaboom! Now, you want me to fix you, or not? All right. Let's just get this over with. Relax, Jensen. It's... it's gonna be fine. 
You... you won't even know I'm in there. You feel weightless, far away, like you're someone else. But Kohler's gonna bring you back and make you you again. Before you know it. Not too sure how to think of this cooler guy yet. What? Oh, thank God. Take it easy. I swear I didn't mean to. Your retinal display should be back soon. You can still move, huh? Where, where did you? I was. I was trying to connect the unconnected. But you got some strange fucking ogs back there. Uh, I mean, I, I probably shouldn't have. Uh, here, let me get you some water. Or something stronger, maybe? Water. You got it, Jensen. Just, uh. Just ease up. Don't freak out. Rebooting was the only way to save you. Save me from what, Core? Core meltdown. You almost melted my chair. So I reset you, and I found these... these, uh... I think it's better if I show you what I found. Bring up your system display. You need to see this for yourself. These are your implants. You're familiar with all these, right? Yeah. David Seraph installed them. Took two years for my body to get used to everything. Right. Well, I had to undo some of that getting used to. What's going on, Kohler? Why do I feel different? Something was trying to vampire the juice out of you. I couldn't figure out what until after the reboot. Turns out your Factory Zero is not the standard Factory Zero. What am I looking at? Experimental fucking test dogs, man. Hidden inside your body. You're telling me I got more implants than I thought I did? More than your body can handle. Pretty cool, right? I'm not sure yet. I want to show you what happens when you activate one of these suckers. If I have to choose, I'm going to make sure I'm actually getting the one that's more convenient for me. It's okay, Jensen. One isn't gonna kill you. You've said that before. See that? Major spike in your power consumption. Where the hell did these things come from? I can't answer that. All I know is the explosion must have woken them up. But man, you wanna use these crazy fucking things? That's your right. We just gotta make sure it doesn't fry you. Now, I think I maybe got an idea on how to do that. Try shutting down one of your other implants. You know, just for fun. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one of the implants you're not using. Go ahead, Jensen. Shut down one, see that? Cooled you right down. You have the power to balance your system if you want. Just, you know, don't activate everything all at once. What would happen if I did? Well, you'd suffer some major glitches due to overheating. We're talking risk of permanent damage. So, you know, maybe don't do that. All right. Reset me now, Kohler. I'll reactivate what I need myself. Okay, so I'm not always gonna be there for you like this. I can't just follow you around to reset things and hold your neural weave together. Whatever choices you make from here on out, they're your choices. But you were supposed to be my AUG expert. I specialize in Chinese black market, okay? The shit I found hidden inside you, spliced into your system like that, looks to me like it's from Mars, man! I'm pretty sure they're not from Mars. I just... I feel bad. You deserve answers I can't give you. I can help manage your system better than anyone in Prague. They help you make the most of the new Augs we just found. But you can't tell me where the hell they came from. As far as I know, David Seraph installed all my Augs. 
There's something inside me I don't know about. He's the one I need to talk to. I am familiar with Saris' work. These new orgs, they... They look different to me. I mean, that neodymium shell. Who uses dimorphic magnetoriological fluid like that? Seriously, if you talk to Sarif, you need to ask him that. Shit really stands out. Pretty fucking cool, actually. Why would Seraph have hidden these things inside me? I don't get it. I am not convinced this is a Seraph job. The tech itself is super high-end. But the PDOT insulation, sloppy. The bone mounting mounted on the quick. Just doesn't have Seraph's touch. Looks more like a retrofit to me. Something much more recent. Well, what are you thinking? I'm thinking how much I hate being unconscious. You said these additions look recent. How recent? Within the last two years, give or take. Something happened to you in that time? I was pulled out of the ocean and put in some facility in Alaska to recover. There's a few months there that... The more I try to remember, the blurrier it gets. Shit, Jensen. That's terrifying. You ever seen anything like this before? An AUG system that's deliberately hidden like that? I don't know, Jensen. I mean, I heard of people getting the black market treatment before. Pass out in Prague, wake up in Shanghai. But usually they wake up with less AUGs, not more. What exactly makes these AUGs so different from my other ones? They look like experiments, is what? Loose wiring everywhere, man. It's, it's like half of you is... Untested, unfinished, unbelievable. It's, it's beautiful is what it is. This tune-up went longer than I expected. Let's wrap this up. Right. Here, take some Praxis kits for the trouble. Praxis solves everything. Keeps customers happy. Just uh, remember what I showed you about managing your juice. It's gonna be a balancing act for you. Well, unless... Unless what, Kohler? There could be a way to optimize. It's just... It would involve getting something from Otar. A neuroplasticity calibrator. There's a way for me to use everything I have without compromise. I want to know about it. I was hoping you'd say that. I order all my fancy tech from this illegal catalog, right? But... My last shipment got intercepted... by Otar Botkoveli. The same Otar whose men were looking for books out there before? I am not going to force you. I want you to want to do it. I want you to want to be an augmented god among men. If that sounds like something that interests Definitely. you, then you should know that Otar runs an underground casino in the Chisti district. The entrance is in a small courtyard of Hlavni Street. Thanks for the info, Kohler. Thanks for the praxis. Definitely want to get that. Alright, uh, guys, now that, now that we've been to see the doctor, we have to head back to Miller and um, report back. No, report to him and give him an eyewitness report about the attack that happened at the train station when we arrived just before the, uh, the video ended. But at the minute, it's going to take us a long time simply because. Um, the police keep stopping us to look at our paperwork due to the actual attack, so in, in game time, I don't know how long this is actually going to take us.
I thought this was a cut scene where Jenny just looks, looks like a loading screen with just watching Jensen look at random people. Now it looks like I've got it's a side quest to do. Not now, I, I hate watching the news. War, Good God. Murdered, just look at that side quest actually, make sure it's nothing that should that can can't be done later. Shit, don't wanna do that. People like this? I don't want to do that either. Oh crap! Run, just run. You don't have the right conditions. If so, I'm not the one making it. The person who issued these papers told me not my problem. No, that guy I could talk to. This whisper chip you gave me, it's an easy plant. You're heading into TF-29? Already? Our enemies aren't waiting around while we lick our wounds. Fair enough. There'll be a data port on the NSN's motherboard. Access it and then just plug and play. Or plug and record in this case. Got it. I'll let you know when it's done. to go, they have to head upstairs. That's the toilets. Yeah, it looks like I have to head up, in which case I'm going to have to find some stairs or an elevator. No. There we go. You made it in. It's good to see you're okay. Hey, Aria, yeah. It was a close call. I got lucky. A lot of people didn't. I was here working when the first reports came in. It was chaos. Phones ringing off the hook, people yelling, scrambling to find out what was going on. Then when Miller told me you were there, I... I'm alright. Good. You looking for him? Because he's tied up right now, a meeting with Lyon, I think. Really? He's using the NSN right now? Yeah, I just saw him. Oh, hey, that reminds me, here's yours. What's this? The card for the shooting range. Chang changed all the codes this morning, said something about only giving access to people he's vetted personally. The bombing really freaked him out. Third one in six months, can you believe it? I just... I'm really glad you're okay. Thanks, Aria. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Yeah, I better get back downstairs. It's gonna be a busy day. Come by later if you want to talk. I'll be there. I'm so confused. Why does it keep sending me to different places when I can't get in? I think Director Miller's making a mistake, putting all our resources into finding these Dubai. Whatever. It's gonna walk around for a bit. Half the cybercrimes division is combing the web for any hint of those mystery guys from Dubai. That's not really our area of expertise.
I think I just got drunk. Right now, I think my blood is about 60% caffeine. This is bad. We need to increase security at the CDC. Do the Jin still believe what some told them or don't they? Very interesting meeting. Jensen, we need to talk. By God, Jensen, I heard about the explosion. We should relocate. I was thinking we could corner Director Miller together. Tell him... Tell him it's just... It's not safe enough here. We're fine, Chang. The police station, the train station, we're next. I can feel it. I can more than feel it. I can see it happening. No one knows where we are. There's no reason to get paranoid. That's where you're wrong. They're trying to pull the lid off of us, Jensen, or someone is. Praha Dovos just got hacked. Our building's front company. Thought it was fake. I wish it was fake. Miller's got me cleaning up telecam footage from the attack to help figure out who these people are. Meanwhile, maybe they're trying to figure out who we are? Why else poke into an import company? You think someone's figured out that the company's a front? Maybe they know what's really down here. We have a lot of enemies. The people who bombed the train station, you don't think they'd love to know where we are? You need to help me figure out who's looking into us and make them stop. I'm gonna need more information about this snoop of yours. I don't know for sure that our cover's been blown, but if it has, we need to know before our enemies have a chance to do something about it. What can you tell me about our front company? Praha Dovos was designed to be forgettable. The kind of place you walk by a hundred times and still can't remember. It obviously caught someone's attention. What happens if we're compromised? My guess, we dismantle and disappear. Agents go into hiding, director burrows into some hole, poof, no Christmas party. You really think there's a risk here? Maybe someone's just poking around the fake website of a fake company. If someone points a gun at me, I assume it's loaded. If someone hacks into the website of the company that serves as our cover, I assume they're doing it for a bad reason. Such as? Everything depends on who they are and what they know. But we're in the business of dealing with terrorists. If those terrorists find out where we are... Do you have 29 likes its privacy? Sure. More importantly, Chang likes being in one piece. Unlike you, I don't just brush off explosions. You got an ammo on this hacker? At first I thought it might be the Collective. But you're not convinced. Not Janus' style to leave crumbs this big. But, whoever it is, they risk exposing us. If the Collective ever found out where we operate... Oh my god, Jensen. Maybe Janus knows already. Hey, hey, don't say shit like that. I get nervous enough as it is. I need you to find out as much as you can about our Snoop. Make sure we're not in danger. Well, I'm gonna help him just to make sure that keeps everyone else safe as well as him and everyone else, including myself. So, let's say even if he's wrong, at least we have some sort of protection helping the situation. Alright, you have any leads? I traced our hacker Snoop to an unrented apartment. Top floor, 33 Halabney, just down the street. This guy walks by us every single day. Probably walks in. You're kidding. See? You feel it now. The constant buried alive feeling. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought we were supposed to be suspicious of things that go on outside these walls. It's never that simple. Just get into that apartment. Access the computer they used and find out what you can. And be careful, Jensen. We don't know who we're dealing with. I'll look into it. As soon as I know something, so will you. Is there something I can help you with, Agent? I hear you're on point looking into the gold mask mercs that hit us in Dubai. Any leads yet? <laughs> Christ, I know I'm good, Jensen, but I've only been on it for five minutes. A lot can happen in five minutes, McCready. You check with the ME yet? Get anything off the bodies we recovered? Leftovers are on ice at the Oman substation. I've been told they were scrubbed clean as summer whites. No prints, no dental, no nothing. So, in other words, it's no steps forward and two steps back. And it's a fact made especially fucking infuriating because we lost a good agent in the process. It was our job to keep Singh safe, and we failed. 
I think we both deserve to take that on the chin. No arguments here. Oh, good. Glad we agree on one thing, at least. Now, don't we both have investigations to get back to? How the hell did you get such a sunny disposition anyway, McCready? Knowing about me is not gonna make us friends, Jensen. But I'll humor you, fine. I joined regular army straight out of secondary school, made UKSF at 25 and was recruited into the SRR four years later. Special Reconnaissance Regiment. That's an elite unit. Oh yeah, it's very glamorous. All champagne and blowjobs. <laughs> so what happened? After 12 years hunting terrorist shipbirds across every desert on the face of the earth, I found there was no fucking end to the evil this world churned out. I couldn't see the point in what we were doing anymore. So, I quit. So what brought you back to the life? I suppose it was purpose. A tool without a job to do can only grow rust. So, here I am, back in it, serving my purpose. As a tool yourself, mate, you should understand that, yeah? Yeah. But tell me, why do you think the bodies from Dubai were sent to Oman? Fuck knows. Rumor is that Oman was pissed that we got the green light for the gig in the first place. Can't blame them, really. You don't think it's strange we got the call over them? I stopped questioning the logic of the big noise a long time ago. What I'm told is we were the only team ready to go. Yeah, that's what I heard too. So then, you know what I know. That everything? Yeah, I'll see you around, McCready. Alright guys, that being said, I myself can't figure out how to get into that room. So with that being said, I'm just going to end the episode here until I can figure out how to actually get into there. So with that, if you'd like to see more, please leave a like and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, take care, thank you so much for watching.